Hi everybody. Um, I'm just gonna try to make a quick video because I don't know how long it will last because it's nap time and as I have stated before, uh, it's not the best. Um, the babies are not the best nappers. So I'm gonna try to do this video and we'll see how long I can make it. Um, so several people have asked for another grocery list video. I haven't done one in a while and so I'm gonna try to make that because I've I've been kind of compiling it in my mind. Um, the different things that I need pretty quick, like pretty soon. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a delivery or if I'm going to go. Because I don't know if I've talked about this, but you know when you get your groceries delivered? Especially if, if you have produce and stuff like that. Um... I'm often like not satisfied and I need to go do some of it myself. So usually what I do is I get like my Walmart delivery for like the majority of things. And then I just pop into Kroger really quickly to get the like produce that I need. Um, when I have a second to myself, like when I don't have to take all three kids, but for like the majority of stuff, I get like Walmart delivery. I don't know if I've talked about that before. I, um, before the babies were born, Walmart was running like a special to sign up for Walmart Plus for $50 for the whole year. And you got like, you get free delivery on groceries and you like get like access to Paramount Plus and then it's like free shipping from Walmart. So like sometimes my Walmart doesn't have some of the things that I need, but even if it doesn't matter like how much I spend, I can just order from online and it's free shipping to my house. So that's kind of nice. I've taken advantage of that a few times. Okay. So, um, we are doing a dinner this Saturday night for, um, like a women's shelter in town. And me and my mom are going to do it, but she's doing most of it. She's doing like chicken enchiladas and I'm just going to make guacamole. Um, so I need to get, I think to be safe, I should probably get eight avocados. And avocados are um, something that I really need to get in person because... For example, I had some delivered this week and most of them, like they were in a bag and most of them I probably won't be able to use until next week. So those I will probably need to pick out. Avocado, cilantro, one bunch of cilantro will do. Um, jalapeno. I don't know if you guys put jalapeno in your guacamole or not. Some people do and some people don't and I honestly... It's fine for me to not have it, but I usually use it. I use like a yellow onion uh, in my guacamole. I'll probably use like five Roma tomatoes. Um, and then limes, I'm trying to think. I overbuy with the limes just because I would hate to not have enough. I'll probably get three limes. Um, garlic. So, I normally, I don't know if I've talked about this, I normally buy, like, the bunch of garlic. Like, what's it called? Like, I don't know. Usually they sell them in, like, a bag of, like, three big... It's not cloves because it's a huge thing, but anyway. Um... But recently, for the first time ever, I bought a jar of, like, the, the minced garlic. And I've been using that. I haven't used it in guacamole yet, so I'm not sure if I'll do that. I might just go ahead and get, like, garlic cloves. I probably will. Um, but with cooking, that's so much easier. It saves me so much time to not have to, like, peel all the stuff. And for years and years and years, I've only bought garlic cloves. Um, I haven't bought the minced garlic that you can just buy. So, it's been such a relief. I don't know why I haven't done that. I think in my mind, I was like, it's not the same. 
But for a lot of things, I can't taste the difference. But I don't know if in guacamole, that might be too risky. Let me know if you have an opinion. Um, I'll probably get some garlic cloves. What else do I need? I use like salt and pepper, of course. And sometimes I use some garlic salt just to add a little bit more flavor. Um, years and years ago, I had a friend make guacamole and they used cottage cheese in their guacamole. And that sounded so disgusting to me, but it was really delicious, like the final product. But I don't have that recipe and I don't know how to do that one. So, um, do you guys prefer gar um, guacamole that's like chunky, like chunky bits of avocado, or do you prefer it to be like smooth? Because I, I, I love either one, but I've started to kind of like it to be like a mix of like smooth guacamole with like chunks of avocado in it. I kind of like that, but I usually end up just like taking a fork and mashing the avocado. It kind of depends on how ripe the avocado is, I guess. Um... But I love guacamole. And I actually need to ask if I need to get chips. I'm not sure if my mom already got that or not. Um, she makes really good chicken enchiladas. So we definitely will need chips, but I'm not sure if she already has those. Okay, so that'll take care of the guacamole. And then, I've talked about fishbowl before on here and shared that like recipe, but we went to Trader Joe's on Saturday and got some of that cilantro lime dressing that is so good. I don't know if you guys have tried that, but it's so delicious. It's in the refrigerated section and it like has a best buy date um, that you need to pay attention to because it's fresh. It's so delicious. So this is what we need for a fishbowl. Tilapia. I also think it would be really yummy to make this dish and turn it into like tacos and do shrimp or fish, but I love shrimp tacos and I feel like um, if I just sauteed the shrimp in the same spices that I put on the tilapia and then basically just put all the filling that I use in my rice bowl into a taco, it would be so good. I don't know why I've never done that with that dressing. I need to actually ask my husband what he thinks about that because that sounds so good. Um, okay, so I use red cabbage. And we hadn't done this in a while, so it's kind of like a throwback for us. Um, I use cilantro, but I think I'll have enough in that one bunch to just get one for the guacamole and, and use some of it. I have rice. I recently bought one of those like 25 pound bags of rice at Sam's because I use a lot of rice and they have jasmine rice there and it's so much cheaper. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I guess it's because when I see that it's 25 pounds, I'm like, wow, what am I going to do with that bag? That's like a huge bag of rice. But when it's that much cheaper, I think it was like $18 for a 25 pound bag. And normally at Walmart, I buy a five pound bag for $6. So that's a lot cheaper. So I bought that. So that will, we won't have to buy rice for a long time. Um, red cabbage, red onion. This is one dish that I use red onion for instead of like yellow onion. And I like it because it adds a little bit more like spice. Samba Olek. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that is like a um, Asian spicy sauce, chili sauce that I use on this dish and it is so good. Um, I think I have some of that, but I also have used sriracha before and it's good. Um, what else do I put in here? I put avocado and I probably need to just add to the list that I'm getting for the guacamole because I need separate. Um, I put spinach in mine. I've gotten to where I try to add spinach to a lot of my dishes 
but I do it in such a way that you can, like, my husband would not prefer huge leaves of spinach. And so I get like a bunch of spinach and I just chop it up really finely and add it into things. And you hardly know it's there. I love spinach, but I still like it. If I'm going to put it in like a rice bowl like this, I still want it to be finely chopped because you can mix it better and you don't have like huge spinach leaves. That's something I've started doing like with tacos. You don't want huge leaves of spinach. It's just hard to eat. So I chop it up really finely and then it's like just easy to use. Um, I put it in my spaghetti sauce like that. What else have I done that in recently? An omelet. I put that in an omelet that I made recently and it was delicious. Um, oh, that's something that the babies are able to eat now is eggs. And that's been fun. It's really, I love feeding the babies like um, new foods and seeing like how much they like them. And eggs is something that I wanted to introduce early because I know that some babies like can develop allergies to eggs. A baby that I kept last year had an egg allergy and that's hard because eggs are in everything. Not everything, but you have to like really read the labels on everything to make sure there's no eggs. Um, so anyway, I introduced that maybe two weeks ago to them and they really like it. They're starting to be able to eat things like that instead of just purees. I'm giving them mostly puree stuff still that I make, but um, I'm just introducing little things like that every once in a while and it's really fun. Um, and I also just recently started getting like the cage-free eggs at Sam's and they're so good. They taste better to me. They're a little bit more expensive than like just the regular eggs, but I feel like they taste a lot better. Um, okay. What else do I eat in this? I use limes for this too, just to put like squeeze lime juice on top of it when I'm done. And then the spices that I use that I probably have most of, but I need to just kind of check. I use chili powder. Um, paprika, garlic salt, garlic, yeah, garlic salt, um, salt and pepper, and then I don't always do this, but I sometimes add just a little bit of cayenne, oh, what is it, cayenne pepper? Is that what it's called? It looks like, I mean, it essentially looks like paprika, but it's really spicy. So I have to be careful because um, my son obviously eats this too. And I, he likes spice, but not like crazy spice. So sometimes I'll just like sprinkle a little bit on like my fish and not on everybody's fish. Um, cumin. I use that. I can't remember if that's it. I usually just like yank things out of the pantry, like whatever sounds good to me. Um, okay, so I need to check on that. I think I have all of those. And then tilapia, red cabbage, red onion, avocado, spinach, limes. I think that's it. It's so good. With that cilantro lime dressing. From Trader Joe's that you definitely need to try because it's so good. Um, okay. And then what else am I going to do? I'm always like trying to think of the next thing I'm going to make for the babies because having two as you can imagine, they go through so much food. Right now, I feed them breakfast and dinner only, like food-wise, and I'm nursing them all the time. So, they're almost six months old. Um, I'm not, I can't remember. I need to look back in my journals, like when I started feeding my son, like my toddler, three times a day. I can't remember when I started doing that, but, um... 
anyway, I'm like constantly making baby food, I feel like, and they're just going through it so fast. They're both like really good eaters. But I'm like, I freeze, so like I'll make a huge batch of sweet potatoes or something and then freeze them into cubes so that I can just like pop them out when I'm ready. But I just feel like I'm doing it all the time. So really I need to get some more sweet potatoes because I think I'm, I don't have very many of that left. Um, another thing I've been doing is butternut squash for them, which they really love. And this has been kind of good because like some of the stuff I make, I'm like, man, this is good. Um, like with the butternut squash, what I do is I bake that. And then usually at the same time, I'm, I try to like prep baby food, like do several things at a time so that I'm like doing it all in one sitting and I just kind of rinse out my blender and go again. So like, one mixture that I make for them is peas, spinach, um, peas, spinach, and pears because it's sweet. It's like nice for them. So like what I, I cook the, the peas and the spinach, put those in the blender, and then I boil the pears. I cut them up and boil them to make them really soft. And then I'll make that peas, spinach, pears. And then I save the water that I boiled the pears in and I pour some of that into the butternut squash mix and it just tastes so nice. It's pretty good, honestly. So I need to get another butternut squash. Um, I still have some pears left. I got a big bag. And I have some spinach, but I think I need to get some more peas. I also give them avocado and they love that. And I keep I keep avocado and bananas constantly because they, they do really well with those. I do prunes. I actually probably need to get some more prunes. Um, I tried some zucchini and squash recently. And I just, I didn't blend it. I just, I'm trying to see like where they're at with like eating it on, like eating the food, actual food. And they didn't do great with the squash and zucchini, which that's kind of a weird texture and stuff. I may should have just blended it. Maybe I should just try it again and blend it because they would probably do well with it. I, they may just not be ready yet to hold that. Although like some people do like, I try to do baby led weaning type food, like which is just kind of like making them table food and they, they're eating that. Um, some people definitely are already doing that fully at this age. I just like, I don't know. I try to do like kind of a mix at the beginning and then move over to that because I just, I don't know. It's probably just my comfort level with like their gag reflex and stuff. I just feel like they have to kind of learn. I don't know. Babies will probably just adjust to whatever you have them do. They're so flexible and adaptable, but I'm doing kind of a mix right now of like purees. And like, for example, I baked some sweet potato fries. Like I cut up the sweet potato and seasoned it with like paprika and cumin and salt and pepper and stuff and baked it into like strips so that they could hold it and eat which is kind of like baby led weaning and they do okay they're not great yet at holding on like at, at keeping it in their hand and like knowing exactly how to do it but we're practicing so that's one way I'm trying to do that and they're doing okay with that but they like it a lot um so I need to make more of that. This is reminding me because I'm running, I'm almost out of like the spinach pea and pear mix. And since they're almost six months, I'm about to start adding in some other veggies too that I haven't done yet. So I'm excited about that. It's one of my favorite things like making them food and, um, and then trying it and like enjoying it. It just makes me really happy. Um, but I will say, like, breakfast is not stressful. It's like they're both happy. They've just woken up. And I'm like, just spoon for you, spoon for you. But dinner time is really stressful right now because 
they're fussy. It's just like that time of night and like I cannot get it to them fast enough. They're just like screaming in between bites. That's a little bit hard. And I just, I think it's just like the time of day that they're just tired. They're getting ready to like go to bed soon. And so sometimes dinner can be challenging. But they, they're doing good with eating. Um, and I did the past two videos, the makeup videos that I did in my bathroom. Some people were saying that the sound wasn't great in there. Some people liked it and some people didn't. So I may just do it in there sometimes because I, like I said, I can't use the other room that I was using. But I can't, I mean, I have a room that I can do it in. So... Um, let me know what you prefer, and I'll just maybe switch switch it up sometimes because um, I can do it in here if the if you guys think the sound is better. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think that's gonna be good for right now. I've got enough eggs. I do need to get some more cheese. I forgot about that. that's it um I think everybody's still sleeping I can't believe it they've been doing better the past few days knock on wood I hope I don't jinx it but anyway I hope everybody's doing well thanks for hanging in there with me and being patient with me and thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon